I mean, it, it's just a, a day by day process in for, forming the script. Um, but you, you start with an idea, and and you start with this hybrid of love story and and uh, sort of traditional Philip K. Dick land. You look at all the other <coughs> uh, adaptations of Philip K. Dick that are out there, <coughs> and they have a uh, very dark dystopic tone, which is the Philip K. Dick tone. So. Um, I I think I felt like I I'm not gonna do better than you know Blade Runner, um, so why don't I try something different? And um, I think the humor just emerges because you, you think about how absurd it must seem from from David's point of view to be dealing with these people, and I'm sure there are Philip K. Dick purists, maybe some of you in the audience who uh, uh, are not happy with that with that choice, but. Um, but you know that's the movie we we set out to make, and uh, you know t to the credit of the estate of Philip K. Dick, which you can speak to more than me, they 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 were very uh, supportive of feeling that their their father's work was uh, big enough to be interpreted in a lot of different ways. I I can say one thing creatively about why I was looking for a, a dancer aside from just wanting the movie to have a realistic feel wherever possible and in, in every aspect the politics the dance, the shooting style. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I also thought you're sort of viewing the movie from Matt's point of view. And he's a, he's a famous person in the movie and he's a famous person in real life. And he's meeting this total unknown, you know, constituent, well, not really his constituent because she's foreign. So it, would, it was sort of more interesting, I thought, um, to have the person be a totally unknown face. Um, but. Emily's not as well known in this country as she is in, in Britain, so it, it probably played that way to some extent anyway. But then she came in and she very generously agreed to do a test with us, and it was evident moments in. 15 seconds in, yeah. I turned to him and said, I yeah. think this is the one. Yeah, their chemistry is amazing, and it, and it, it really it helps you get into the story so quickly and not need a ton of scenes of them kind of talking and chatting and the whole thing to believe that they're in love. And that's really kind of an amazing feat, I think. Yeah, one, just sorry, sir, one quick, um, the uh, w a, a thing that writers I have found, and this is something that George struggled with too, especially in this movie, is the convention of love at first sight, which has become kind of a movie convention. And so you see these people and they meet and they like, oh, oh, you dropped your keys or whatever, they bump their heads or whatever happens. Um, and we are trained to kind of say, oh, well, we're supposed to believe they're the They're really good looking. So. Yeah, they're good looking. <laughs> they're the actors. They're the stars. So they're the ones who are supposed to be. And it's just a very different, uh, I believe, one man's opinion, it's a very different quality to believe that they're supposed to be together because you're told they're supposed to be. So you're like, okay, note to self, these guys are going to get together in the movie. And uh, it's just a very different set of muscles than, oh, my God, I really want these people to get together. I care. I care. And to do that in a very few scenes is a real testament to the writing. And that's, that, that first scene is a real thing that he, he had struggled over to kind of take the, the pressure off of that love at first sight curse. Um, and of course, the performances had to work, and, and et cetera, et cetera. So. Yep. Creatively speaking, uh, he's a famous person in the movie. Yeah. He's supposed to be a rock star politician. So um, it was actually to our benefit that when he walked down the street, people would come up and, you know, as long as they weren't holding the camera phone in front of his face, yep. which they do do, um, it was it was a plus. Um, and uh, um, in terms of allowing us to get access to some of those people there I'll let Michael tell you about the Clinton Global Initiative but it, we we just went to Bloomberg for example and said hey we're doing this political story here are the pages that you'd be in even though you're going to ad lib it but it's going to be something like this um and nobody turned us down so uh, I think they thought the movie was not going to hurt them politically um and uh and Matt's involvement, um, you know, was probably a little ego trip. He's playing a politician or something like that. Um, you know, on Born, uh, from what I understand, you know, when he runs through like Waterloo Station, for example, you can only they can only shoot him for a few. Se part of the, I mean, part of that's Paul's very Paul Greengrass's very cutty style. But part of it is you can only shoot Matt running for a couple of seconds before somebody picks up a camera phone, and nobody's going to do that to Jason Bourne because he's you know, undercover or whatever. Um, 
for this film, it was exactly the opposite. You know, we could march from downtown. So doing the junket, um, you know, doing his own press, we were able to kind of piggyback on that. And one of the items that George mentioned was, you know, President Clinton was doing his Clinton Global Initiative in town while we were there, and we reached out to them and kind of said, hey, can Matt come to this? Well, he was, he was uh, getting recognition for his water work anyway. Right. So, so he was already woven into that fabric. It is a filmmaking, I wouldn't call it a trick so much, but it was... Uh, on George's part, um, a very savvy yeah. sort of judo move yeah. to orient the character in such a way that it then kind of uh, uh, inhabited a space that was exactly what we wanted from reality. Yeah. Um, so it worked. It was. It was. It was good. It works. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank so you. Much the much. movie opens tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow? Yeah. Well, midnight tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. Midnight. Yeah. Thank you guys. All right. Thanks.